Hi everybody. I just wanted to come on this afternoon and show you I have gotten several things of Happy Mail and I've been so busy with my bead stuff and work that I have not gotten to say thank you to anybody. So I wanted to come on and do a little Happy Mail thank you video. Excuse me, I'm very dry today. And show you some of the beautiful happy mail that I have gotten this week. Um, guys, I do apologize if it was, came the first of the week and I didn't get to it. I, I've done back-to-back -back internet things and just was busy. Um, this came from Dawn and I think it's Andrus is how she pronounces it. That, and I'm not sure, but I think she is Dawn, Dawn's Crafty Room on YouTube. Yes, she is, because it says so in here. And this is just a little thank you for the painty paper swap. I mean, she sent me beautiful papers. <laughs> and then she sent me this beautiful card. And you should see this cute little embellishment that's on it. It's stamped with a flower. It's got cute little... Um, oh, I meant to back up a little bit. Guys, hold on a minute. There we go. Um, the reason being is some of these things you have to have a little more room to see. But isn't that pretty? It looks, it's got bees stamped on it and little dots and, oh, it's just gorgeous. And um, it's just a beautiful card. And that's from Dawn at Dawn's Crafty Room. And I thank you, Dawn. It's beautiful. I have to make something to hold all of this beautiful happy mail. Now, the painty paper swap, it... I'm going to make a book for all the the stuff to go in the ha in the painting paper swap, and this one came from Sharon. That's what I thought, and I can't show you the front, but there's another really pretty um, embossed, or uh, not embossed, stenciled design on the front of it, and she must have stenciled this with ink because it's it's not raised like um, paint would be, and isn't that pretty? And and Sharon and I are, we're in a, a rack swap with Aunt Beck's group. It's called Aunt Beck's Creations Facebook group and on YouTube. And uh, so we were sending each other painting papers. And I, these are beautiful. This one says, today I will create something beautiful. I'm going to take them apart so that you can see the whole page. But this is just lovely and then she's stamped over the top of this one with a, looks like a rose stamp it's really intricate it's it's not really let me say this it's not got a ton of lines in it but it's such tiny lines it's beautiful and look at this perfect fall colors and i don't know these papers just i just love the feel of all these painty papers this one sort of has a border to it too and this one's got marks made with um, looks like something square actually it kind of looks like my distressing box I love that one too um, Sharon it, it's such a pretty color and I doubt you guys can see the pretty colors that are in this one it it's where the jelly plate has pulled different colors off the plate and it's that's real pretty oh oh and another really pretty fall one this one looks like it's almost got a basket weave kind of thing done to it something she must have used on it to make a mark and this one's got pink and oranges together Well, maybe it's pink and peach together, but it's beautiful. And look, that one, I don't know if that's a stencil or a stamp, but it's lovely. Sharon, these are all beautiful. Thank you very much. This one says imagine all over, and it's got... 
I'm sure you guys can't see it. That's metallic. Can, does it show? I think it might. Um, the little leaves that are on here, that are, it looks like they're stenciled in there. They're um, done with some kind of metallic paint. Real pretty. And this side is gorgeous. I'm going to have to get busy and make my book. Becky's already got three books, I think, made. Oh, and this one is... This one's really pretty with yellow and turquoise, and then the turquoise and yellow made a green, and then there's white circles over the top. Gorgeous. Oh, look at this. She, drew, she doodled on this one. This is really pretty. Sharon, thank you very, very, very much. They're beautiful. Okay, and this one came from Susan Baker. Yeah, Susan Baker. And the front of this envelope is just as pretty as the back. And it's got like this little bare, barely, barely texture. It's gorgeous. And I cheated. I looked ahead of time. I'm bad that way. I, I just did. So, And this looks like Tinkerbell. She's so cute. Oh, and that's... I don't know what she made those dots with, but that's really cool. It's, it's got like tiny eighth inch dots. And Tinkerbell's on this side too. You just can't see her real well. Um, but that's a beautiful sunset type colors. Oh, and this one's got layers. There's sort of like an orange and purple underneath this limey green really pretty susan ah yes i remember this one this is one of my favorite pieces i just love this and whatever this is that she i'm gonna have to ask her what she made these little white dots with because i i think those are cool i may have to have whatever that tool is i have to find so one but that's just got some colors in it i i never know if you guys can really see the colors as pretty as i do And this I'm gonna have to do something with Tinker Bells. You know, I, I was thinking about doing a fairy um, journal anyway, so that one, those will be might be fun in there. And this, oh man, it's got it's it's pink and purple and ruby colored, and then it's got those white dots. It's like, and they're really cool. Like. They're in such perfect alignment. I can't imagine that she dotted it by hand, but she might have. And this one has dragonflies and um, a bee and a ladybug. Oh, and this, I remember this one. This has got some metallic copper in it. These are just beautiful, Susan. Thank you so much. And this one, this one is, it's got this same kind of dragonflies and the bugs in it are the same but it's got a different look to it let me find the other one well oh there it is it's it's it's, it's almost like it's a reverse but it's not a reverse can you see the difference it's really pretty Oh, and this one is really cute, too. Now, it's upside down because it actually has uh, mushrooms or toadstools, whichever you want to call it. That may have been a stencil because um, it, it there's a little dragonfly up here. Just gorgeous. And this one is very kind of boho in some ways. There's an elephant down here. Can you get, yeah, you can see it. Okay. It's really pretty. And there's some subtle colors in here. That's gorgeous. And then this, ah, oh, these are just beautiful. Th Susan, thank you so very much. So very much. That's, they're just gorgeous. Then today this came the other night I was on Oops, 70 Acres Studio, Melissa Bishop. 
um, I was on watching her live. I was just popping in and out. And she was making this little book. And uh, right about the time she went to do the drawing, uh, we had just found out that there had been a, a tornado in, in a reasonably close area. Not, you know, not here. Not right here, but close enough that we needed to check on some friends and make some phone calls and the likes of that. So um, I kind of was in and out of the where, where my computer is and all of a sudden she's tell, saying my name because I won the prize. I won this little book that she was making. But when it came today, look at these beautiful stamps that are on it. They are almost holographic. They're really pretty. And they're just they're just gorgeous so the stamps are going to have to be saved too but i had to hide kind of hide them anyway she made this book the other night um from envelopes she uh, that it looked like that she might have gotten a uh, had uh, old old letterhead type envelopes they're all business size envelopes but she wanted a cover on it so she put a piece of of um wallpaper but then now the envelopes were white she just edged with a marker she edged all of the envelopes with black and then she put scrapbook paper on the envelopes and isn't this cute isn't this a fun little book and the scrapbook paper makes the envelopes pretty sturdy and and is so full of bright colors and Melissa, this is just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm just tickled. And then back here, she made a pocket out of some more scrapbook paper. And look, she sent me a chicken. Oh, and the envelope has a chicken too. So, and these are these are like little pieces of the paper she used from the paper pad so that I can put you know, little notes or journal cards or pictures or I think she cut these just a little bit bigger than ATCs. So if I do ATC swaps, I can put these in here like an as a frame around an ATC. So this is going to be a fun little book to play in. So Melissa, thank you very, very, very much. I really appreciate it. And um, you guys will have to check out her channel. She has um, a group on Facebook called called the flockers and um, the painting paper swap is from Aunt Beck's creations group and um, we're doing another one in Lisa my creative life her group um, and the painting papers are just a lot of fun too and we're gonna I'm gonna make a little book to hold my painting papers as soon as I get a chance but Anyways, guys, I'm glad you popped in. I'm, I hope I didn't bore you to tears. Um, thanks for visiting. Go make some art. Go have some fun. Have a great afternoon.